dear friends from all over the world, it's Annette and look where I fit me today, it's my Sarah Lynn and Sarah Lynn is the Vito sculpt by Elisa Marx and it was my first reborn baby I made myself, I painted and rooted myself, she has even the rooted eyebrows, eyelashes and eyebrows and uh, I think she is cute and today she is here with the black and white team sleeper with the sheep on it's a beautiful sleeper and she has the lovely beer from our dear friend Claudia in Montreal with her it's a very special beer it is handmade with all kind of details on it even red cheeks and a necklace on and a dungaree short and a t-shirt t-shirt is a little bit up at the moment isn't it cute and a hair bow it can even go off I think isn't that wonderful yes it can go off see how sweet so yeah, it's very sweet, it's special, so yeah, I wanted to share that today with you, but we have now our dear Sarah Lynn, and welcome to my new subscribers, I have a few new subscribers, I don't know who you are, I didn't get an email from it, but very welcome and hope you like it here on my channel, in this uh, uh, in this small lovely place from Anime and I am Aneta so yeah and I want to sh to join on Wednesdays we wear pink with Sarah Lynn so because it's Sarah Lynn's turn and I have this lovely outfit it's a sleeper it's with pink but there's also green in it so I also want to share um, the Depression Awareness Week from Linda Schrumperu and um, but there are the pink bows and the pink flowers and uh, can you see it? it's very lovely it's from Little Me Newborn and it came all the way from Montreal and there's a hat with it also you have to see maybe it's a little bit big but we can put it on her so I hope you like to see my sweet, lovely Sarah Lynn. Yes, there she is, my sweet girl. And uh, in the meantime, I will share something with you that I was reading and hoping that it will encourage you too. So let me start with that in the meantime. So, it's about a haven of love. God's love is like a beacon, burning bright with faith and prayer. And though the changing scenes of life, we can find a haven there. So with our Lord we can find a safe haven. Yes. And Psalm 107 verse 30 tells us, then they were glad because they had quiet and we brought them to their desired haven. What Bible verse can you set in your heart as a shield against worry? Well, I have a good Bible verse that I use as a shield against worry and that is in Matthew 6 verse 34. But I will read for you Matthew 6 verse 25 to 34 so and it's that what Jesus told to us so therefore I say unto you take no salts for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink no no nor yet for your body what you shall put on 
is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment behold the falls of the air for they sow not they do not reap not gather into barns yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not much more than they which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature and why not take you thoughts for raiment consider the lilies of the field how they grow they toil not neither do they spin and yet i say unto you that even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these wherefore if god so clothes the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow it cast into the oven shall he not much not much more clothe you o you of little faith jesus told his disciples and the people who were listening to him therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be close for after all these things do the gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows that you have need of all these things but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you take therefore no thought for tomorrow for the morrow shall take thoughts for the things of itself sufficient into, unto the day is the evil thereof and i have read this from the kim james kim james version but i wrote it wrote it down in my book from the niv therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own and here is my sweet little Sarah Lynn. Isn't she cute? No, wrong size. So, wrong way. Yes, so, yes, we have to trust the Lord because He takes care of us when we are His sheep. And I was reading this morning in my day-to-day -day Bible about the Good Shepherd. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish, ever. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. And that's in John 10, verse 27 till 30. So I wanted to read that also for you. Because that's important. That you know that you are his sheep. And that Jesus is your good shepherd. And if you're not sure about it, let me know. You can also write me an email. Let me know. Because it's important to know in these days of many worries that we know that we are his sheep and that we don't have to worry so this is her with her head yes it's a little bit big but i think it's cute what do you think isn't she cute for on witness days we were pink and that's hosted by our dear friend shara shara from reborn living dolls of course i think you know that but I will link her, of course. And um, thank you, Shara, for your friendship, for your kindness, for who you are, and that we can participate in your team. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. And it's also for the 
uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but also the green for the Depression Awareness Month. And as you know, I have told it in my last video, I have suffered a big, big deep depression um, that was almost 23 years ago, I think. So um, I did go through deep valleys and it took, took a few years, but I am out it now because of my dear Heavenly Father who, um, who did help me and gave me the assurance that I am his, his child and that he loves me. He loves me so much. So, yes. Well, dear friends from all over the world, I hope you did like to see my sweet Sarah Lynn. It's 11 minutes now. I will keep this video short for you today uh, because I thought it's yeah, it's important to share and I will I will finish with reading the prayer that's in that's in this book from Helen Steiner Rich. So I will finish this video with the beautiful prayer. The world is looking for hope, Lord. People cleansed and over the fast seas and witnessed tumultuous ways. Many struggle to survive emotionally and even physically, but your love serves as a lighthouse, Lord, a beacon of hope. People see it and rush to the safety of your shore where they can find rest and peace. May I be a reflection of that light today to everyone I meet, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love you all. Bye for now.